in this lesson we will be discussing about php control structure and uh, the control structure includes some of the statement like if statement if else statement nested if and so on and so forth so as the name suggests it will control some of the rules or it 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 will help us in developing some of the rules uh, according to our business use case so let's understand with an example if you are in an admin uh, department of a school and a parent comes in and he says that uh, please enroll my kid his age is 15 and he, uh, my occupation is farmer for example okay now the SOP or now the uh, at the system the SOP is being developed that the kid should be only five years old and the banker should be uh, or the the farm or the father should be banker okay for example so because these two statements are not these two inputs are not being fulfilled so the system will not allow them to enroll your uh, the, their kid to our school okay so here with the help of these if and else statements we can easily control the overall workflow so let's go towards this uh, uh, these statements so that uh, that how we can implement this in PHP and what are these if and then what are the else statement and so on and so forth so if a statement uh, allows conditional execution of the code so we have any we have a condition if the condition is passed then a, a, the if the if block will be run or else uh, a, we can run the else block okay so now we can only have the if block also so let's have the quick implementation we have prepared some of the code for use of we have 6a.php we have php we have a02 and then i am saying that if a value is 2 and b value is 5 so please go towards this a is 2 and b is 5 okay so now let's go towards the 6a and let's run this and you can say that a is 2 and b is 5 because this whole statement has been published or has has been passed so if we have a is to 5 or we have uh, a is to 2 we have b is to 5 so uh, so exactly because this condition is true we can uh, the this if block will be executed okay now we have the if else block also so for example if we don't have uh, let's have a is equal to 3 and a is equal to 5 uh, so what will be the condition here okay so uh, we can have that if the condition if condition being false it will go towards the else block as as well okay so we have number 1 we have 17 and we have in number 2 we have 51 okay so here we can say that number one should be greater than number two okay eco number one is greater than number two else number two is greater than uh, number one so we if if this is being executed it will uh, execute this this if, if statement and if it is not being true it will uh, uh, print the else statement so for example number one is 17 and number two is 51 so this statement is false so this else block will be uh, running uh, forward so we we can have number 2 is greater than means 51 is greater than 17 so now let's run this 6 b.php and you can see that that we have 51 is greater than 17 so here with the help of if and else statement we can easily use this these statement for our different different logics are to be run here then we have if else if statement so we can have multiple else if so for example let's have a, a quick scenario here so uh, a person comes in uh, um, I am a store owner for example a mobile store owner and he says that please give me a solution or please give me a mobile which is having uh, we can say that a blue in color okay if it is not being available then it should go toward the color red okay it if if it is not being available n n uh, blue uh, we don't have any blue color we don't have any red color then we can go toward the green color so we can have the many many else if so if 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 this if statement is not true is false please go to else if if it is not true please go to the another else if and so on and so forth and then at the last we have an else that if all those two statements are being uh, false then it will execute that else statement okay so now let's go toward this 6c 
so we have mark 69 so we will say that if marks is not less than 33 fail else if if marks are 34 greater than and equal to 34 and less than 50 so we have d grade then we have c grade and then uh, we can have in in this we can have the invalid uh, input so now let's go towards the 6 c dot php and let's have this implemented so we have b grade because 69 are being okay so now let's go to 69 falls in this grade because we have marks greater than equals to we have greater than 65 and less than 80 so this will say the b grade okay now let's implement this as abc okay so it will how it will react so it will react as now let's uncaught error undefined abc uh, and these are we have an error defined here so what is the uh, issue here so we can have the uh, let's have this 66 okay so let's have 66 and it says that b grade okay now when we uh, move forward uh, let's have okay so now we have already covered the if else if statements and now when we go towards the nested if we can have the nested if also and nested if means that quote executed if the condition is true and then if inside if we have another if inside if we have an another if so this is a nested if and uh, we can s implement this here as 60 so for example we have age is 23 nationality is Indian okay so we can say that nationality is Indian and then once this is being true then go towards this age should be greater than 18 so we can say eligible to vote and if it is not so please go not eligible to give vote okay so now let's go towards the 6d dot php and let's have 6d dot php and eligible to give vote because we have nested f so for if first if will be true then it will move towards the second if okay so now let's go towards this and let's have that this is true okay and now if because this is true it will go towards the if age is greater than equals to 18 okay and now uh, once the because this is true it will reflect is this tr uh, the, it will go toward this if statement and if this is also true then it will print echo eligible to give vote okay this is the nested if if else and the um, all scenarios then we have some of the loop mechanism so the loop mechanism are a very much fundamental concept in the overall programming world and be, be it in python be it php and so on so forth okay so now what that does the, the, the loop mean so for example if i ask you to please write a uh, hello world for 100 times so we have one solution to write to write print statement 100 times and, and then the task is being achieved okay but now what I the efficient the uh, solution is that that we write the print statement only once and we loop that print statement towards 100 times or 1000 times and all those 1000 times will be printed so it is a very much fundamental concept and in PHP we also have while do 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 while for loops and for each loop okay so now let's go towards the core implementation of the while loop so here what does this means that we have uh, HTML body PHP now we have X uh, is equals to 1 and I am saying X should be less than equals to 5 okay I have uh, given this condition and it will say the number is 1 then it will uh, go towards up and it will increment 1 to 2 then it will say that 2 is less than uh, 5 yes it is less than 5 so it will print this then it will increment 2 from 3 3 is less than 5 yes 3 is less than 5 it will print 3 uh, Three here the number is 3 then it will go towards the 4 and when it go to the 5 so it will say that 5 is less than and equals to 5 yes the condition is true okay so now the number is uh, 5 will be printed but now when it go towards the 6 it will say that 6 is less than equals to 5 this is a false statement okay so it will say that the loop will be broken down so here the let's go towards the module 6 e dot uh, php and let's have this here 6e.php and it will say the number 1 2 3 4 5 and it has not printed 6 because the 6 is already being 
uh, the, 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 the condition is being false when 6x uh, belongs to 6 number or x value is being 6 okay now we have this uh, uh, another mechanism where we have do while okay so we have while statement but we have a do while statement so for example it will first do something and then it will check the the uh, the statement or uh, the logic behind that so for example the do while is being enter your password okay and i had entered a wrong password it will again me again ask me again and again again, and again until uh, the the counter is being done so i am asking that please have three okay so uh, three time you will ask so i will set the counter n or like something i is equal to three so once the three is being parameter is being achieved the uh, it will send me an error that you are being blocked because you had entered incorrect password many times or three times okay so we have a do while scenarios as well and here in the do while we can say n uh, is equal to one and here we have n value of n is being predicted then it will be it will go towards the n plus plus n is being then 2 and then it will check the n 2 is less than n equals to 10 it will say yes then it will go towards the above 2 and it will say uh, 2 here and then it will say 3 and 3 is less than n equals to uh, 10 true it will print 3 and all wait until the 10 cents so once till 10 all those number are being printed so now let's go towards the 6 f dot php and you will see that we have 6 f dot php and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 are being printed effectively okay so now this is the uh, overall scenario then we have for loops it these are similar with the while loops and but a, a short uh, short syntax has been changed here so we have for num uh, one and then we have uh, we have the statement here uh, called as uh, the logic statement num should be less than 10 and then i am saying the num plus is equal to 2 so it will and in the previous example the increment was 1 but here in the increment is being 2 okay so it will print 1 then 3 per 5 uh, then 7 9 and so on so forth okay so now let's go toward the 6g dot uh, php and let's have this and 13579 why did not it printed uh, uh, the, the question now is that why didn't why did not it printed 11 because when it was given 9 okay 9 plus 2 is 11 when it go above it check 11 is less than and equals to 10 the condition falls once the condition falls the overall loop will be terminated okay now we have the uh, the another is the for each loop which is being implemented and which is being designed in php so we have array 10 20 30 and for each are being used for the array purposes uh, so let's have this so we have array and then i'm using that this array as val and please print the val so it will go towards the every bit and it will print us for us and then we have an another array called ram lakshman sita, sita and it will print the ram lakshman sita as well to us okay so now let's go towards the 6 h dot php and let's have this okay so we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 because uh, the the all values are being here and then it will say ram lakshman sita so uh, it will iterate the for each loop will iterate the overall array and we can also iterate this with the for loop but uh, we we have a dedicated loop for the array manipulation so please use this that for each loop so this is the end of this module we had introduced the control structure loops for different kind of loop different kind of control structures and please go through this implement these examples so that you can have a better understanding of the overall concept